told you that there is any way <laughs> to freedom. Where did you get this map? There is no way. There is no way to freedom. Way means you have to start from somewhere and arrive somewhere, isn't it? Then you need a way. Hmm? There should be some distance from your location, then you need a way. So you have neither to go anywhere else. So this creation of distance is the deception of the mind. So you forget about any way or any freedom also. And if you do, stay wherever you are. You have not to run anywhere else. So this concept of the mind, somehow you have to get rid of. Stay as you are, wherever you are. And if you do, instantly you will know that you are already that what you wanted for millions of years searching and searching. There is no search also. Search is something that you lost. And when you have not lost anything, there is no meaning to search for any object. So here you simply keep quiet. Don't stir a thought from the mind. And then you will know who you really are. It's spaciousness, all space. So in space, there is no distance from one end to the other end. It is space, no limits. So when you speak about these things, there must be limitation and not spaciousness. So how did this thought come in your space? How this way did it come? Either you have not gone there at the source of the thought, you must have heard from somewhere or read from any book. You still use the word I. In space there is no I, no my, no you and no he. These things are names and forms and you had gone beyond the forms and beyond the name to the source of everything and lost all identifications. Then this should have been finished there. But it doesn't feel finished. But means also not the space. Okay. So you avoid the but. If the but is there, you are still, <laughs> you are still in the mind. Yes, the I thought keeps arising. Hmm? It feels like a habit of the I thought to keep arising and make comments. There are no habits exist also. Habits are there when you have a memory, when you have time, when you have body and past actions, then only you can think about these things. What can you think and about whom? Nothing. No. So this is enough. When you think something, when thought comes, you are still working on the memory of the past, not instant <coughs> presence. Hmm? Mm. To be free, this alone is enough. 
this will burn the whole universe. If you have a burning desire for freedom, it will burn anything else, including you and your mind and your ego and your body. But let it burn. And then, if something is left, you consume into this flame. And once anything enters into the fire, it becomes fire. Put anything in the fire, it will become fire itself like this. This thought of freedom will enter into the fire itself. And this thought also will be consumed and become that. So it is so easy, but very few people are burning to be free. Some people want this, some that, and again enter into the universe according to their own will. Let this will also burn in the fire, so that you have no will to do this or that. But I am happy. You are here, you are working very well. From the beginning itself, I remember, you brought this desire and I am sure you will burn into this fire of eternity and love and peace. Don't be afraid of this fire. Is love itself. But many people are scared about this fire because fire they have seen, but this fire of love, very few people have shown this love for freedom. Those who have consumed themselves in this fire are still living. Buddha has done it <clears throat> 2,600 years ago. He was a prince. Thought comes to him that I want to be free. He was in the pleasure garden. Beautiful young girls that his father arranged. No girl more than 16 years was allowed to stay in the palace because someone told, according to the horoscope, this boy is born under the influence of a star that he will become ascetic, the king of the ascetics, that nobody has ever done it. So, his father kept him imprisoned into the pleasures of the world. And this fire was blazing inside. So this story I have told many times and perhaps you know how he got it, you see. Still he is alive. <coughs> We don't remember our grandparents, we forgot. But this Prince of Peace is still alive. And even you have seen him on the walls of Satsang Bhavan also, you see. So like that you have to do it. When he could do it, he was a prince, very difficult for the prince to do it. When he could do it, why can't we do it also? He was a human being after all, so we are. If he has done, surely we can do. Everybody can become Buddha. Only what is needed, fire of freedom. He is still alive in the hearts 
of whole world. So like this, you have to recognize yourself that I am also that enlightened one.